sauce at this moment for it. It's always like fresh pitch. Hey, I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buds and Suds. So apparently a theme tonight, doing coffee beers. Um, wanted to make sure we got these while they're fresh. This is Prairie's Coffee Noir, and it is 11.5%. Uh, it's noir with coffee beans and aged in whiskey barrels. So it should be good. Yeah, thanks for this. Yeah, no problem. All right. Pour just that nice dark color, pretty flat looking, yeah. no head. Looks a little thin. Yeah, but it holds the glass there, 11 and a half, so let's get the nose. All right. Ooh, I get, mm. I get a little coffee, then whiskey, well, bourbon or whiskey, and then... Uh, I get the whiskey up front. And, then now, <laughs> and now I'm getting more coffee. I get whiskey, uh, I get bur like bourbon, vanilla, I get... Uh, I don't get vanilla yet, but... And then I get uh, sweet chocolate. I just, yeah. yeah, sweet chocolate. That may have been what I got up front was sweet chocolate yeah. ball. If this wasn't, if you didn't tell me, if I took this blonde, I don't think I would have said coffee on the nose. Oh, really? I don't think so. You know, I'm pretty sure. Maybe it's residue from the last one. <laughs> oh, well. I mean, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying if I didn't know that was coffee, it comes off as, uh, as, 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 you know, it's bourbon, mostly and bourbon and chocolate, it's but barely, it smells wonderful. Yeah. I mean, you mostly get cheers, cheers. mostly chocolate cheers. style. Hmm. Oh, that's good. So good. Hmm. I don't get much coffee. I'll start with that. Not to say that's a negative because this tastes wonderful, chewy. You know, not as thin as I thought it was going to be from the yeah, pour. Yeah, I agree. It's a nice mouthfeel. Definitely hit with that bourbon, whiskey flavor, mm. vanilla, chocolate. Mm. This is really good. Yeah. No, I'm feeling like I mm. overrated the last one, but I mean, for Even what it is, more. this is a barrel aged yeah. coffee beer. Right. So, I mean, you got to get the barrel character. If, yeah. if you got nothing but coffee, you'd be ticked. Yeah. But, that's called barrel aged and I think to me the barrel character is the first thing I get on the flavor and I get you know some coffee on the back end. See I'm not getting much coffee at all. I think this has a huge barrel character and it's it wonderful. Is. It's a nice sweet chocolate style with oh, um, it is sweet. yeah with uh, not overly sweet right um, and then it's just this big bourbon vanilla you know whiskey vanilla character. I really am struggling to find coffee in it. See, I get some coffee, but if you had told me that there's no coffee, it's just the malt character, I, I would have believed you because the coffee is on the back end of me. It's not in the forefront. Yeah. Um, but I, I do still get coffee. Mm. I was just looking to see if you knew how old this was. Um, uh, yeah, this is the latest release. Yeah, so it's um, still. I thought it had a date on it. Mm. Yeah, well, it's a date code, so it yeah. doesn't really help me unless I research it. So, or it's got some of the numbers scratched off. Anyway, I still love this beer. I, I was, you know, you talk about expectations. Mm -hmm. Not getting, I mean, minimal coffee. I, I agree, it may be there, but uh, minimal coffee. But great bourbon barrel aged style. Really good, top top notch bourbon barrel style. Um, really dig that. Maybe like you said, a little roast on the back, mm -hmm. but I, I don't know. That, I don't know that I would pick out coffee blind on okay. this one. I should have done a blind then. Oh well. <laughs> so what do you think? Um, I like this a lot. Um, I definitely search this out. Recommend. I get this I every too. time. I would. Um, I mean, it's kind of. You know, if I think if it had a nice peppery coffee flavor, I'd probably go to four seven five. I'm gonna I'm gonna dock it just a bit for that. I'm gonna go four or five plus. Okay, I was gonna give it four or five also. Yeah. Um, I think for a barrel aged beer, it's very good. The coffee, I wish it were more. Mm -hmm. We'll have to research when it was actually brewed since the yeah. date's partially scratched off, but it is the most recent release. I think it was at the end of 16, um, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a four or five for me. It's, yeah. it's a good beer. It's really good. Um, I'm not super disappointed there's co not coffee in it because, uh, I mean, it's still just such a great beer. So uh, definitely search this one out and try mm -hmm. it. Anything yeah. else? No. As always, if you can't have the beer you love, love the beer you have. Thanks.